For the Emirates, this is not just about reaching a new planet. Today's mission is proof that engagement and knowledge sharing open a new range of possibilities for the entire region. What I've been working on since late 2013 will soon sit on top of a rocket waiting for launch. So I just can't explain the multitude of emotions at the moment, especially reflecting on the large chunk that this has taken from our life. So everyone that has been on the mission, including our partners, this has been our every living, breathing uh, moment. It has been part of our household, part of our families. Uh, part of our workplace is constantly. You get to a point in the mission where there's no, no such thing as day and night and work days and work weeks and so on. I think it's interesting in retrospect to see if this is going to create a void after launch, especially if the spacecraft is not here and it's on its journey. Um, and let's see what the journey has um, in store for us. The UAE is unique that you don't just talk, you act. You fund programs, you enact these capabilities. My name is Fyodor Mazmi. Um, I'm a space science engineer at the UAE Space Agency and uh, I'm part of the Emirates Mars Mission Science Team. Our motto is the impossible is possible and we can do anything. All of us can do more when we work together and the United Arab Emirates is a shining example of what can be done when, when we do in fact work together. That spirit of Apollo is what I have really watched happening in the UAE it's it and and they will get the same results that we got from apollo inspiring a generation to go out and do the impossible